Hey guys, it's Andrew, and this is why we're fat. So earlier we made our bacon for our bacon ranch uh, chicken salad, we have that here. And now it's time to kind of put the chicken salad together. So in a bowl, I have four cups of rotisserie chicken. I always, when I make chicken salad, um, if I have it available, I will go to the grocery store and get a couple of those rotisserie chickens. One, because I can take the chicken meat off of it and make chicken salad or other dishes. But then I also have the chicken bones to make stock out of it for that week. And I do love my homemade stock, and there'll be a video coming for that probably later this week. But for today, we're gonna make chicken salad. So here I've got my cubed up chicken. One thing I do is I go through and I kind of crush it a little bit. Um, it makes it a little rougher so that it holds the sauce the, a little bit. Or the, not the pasta sauce, Jimmy Cricket, the mayonnaise. All right, so now we're gonna kind of put all the ingredients in and then toss it together. One cup finely chopped red onion, one cup finely chopped celery, plus another half-ish cup, if you can get it, of celery leaves. Um, they are an often overlooked, but super tasty addition to almost any dish that has celery, including celery leaves makes it super better. Put that in there. One cup of mayonnaise and a half a cup of Greek yogurt. If you don't like Greek yogurt, do one and a half cups of mayonnaise. If you don't want the mayonnaise, use all Greek yogurt. It's totally up to you. One thing I have found though when I use Greek yogurt is I end up using a little bit more than one and a half cups because for some reason it's a little drier than you would expect the combination of mayo and to be. We've got one cup of chopped bacon, two tablespoons of a ranch seasoning powder, one half teaspoon of black pepper, one quarter teaspoon of onion, garlic, and salt. Onion powder, garlic powder, and salt. Matt likes his food tasty spicy, so we always usually add in a, about two, two and a half tablespoons of finely chopped jalapenos with, this, with some of the seeds and some of the ribs. If you don't like it spicy or you, don't, you want it hotter or not as hot, um, use your preference there or take it out altogether. Um, I don't think it's necessary if you, don't need, if you don't want the heat. In here we have two green onions, whites and greens, as well as two tablespoons of parsley stems super important here that we're not looking for the parsley leaves we want the stems so trim off the kind of the ends the, t the very tips so they're kind of that are kind of brown and then finally chop up those parsley ends you do get a little bit of leaves and that's totally okay but we're looking for the parsley stems here and put this in the dish and last but not least it cannot be bacon without a little bit of bacon grease now this is just a little to kind of push up the bacon flavor a little bit um, if you want to cut some of the fat, you can get rid of this, but I do think it adds just that little bit of ness to the dish that I think it needs. Um, and then you mix it up. So we'll get it all mixed up. Be careful you don't kind of jump in too fast and, and start tossing around and make a big mess like I'm probably going to do anyways, because um, that's just how I am in the kitchen. But we're going to get it all mixed together. Make sure the seasoning is fully incorporated. This is not your mother's chicken salad, so there's definitely a lot happening. Um, chunky, chunky vegetables and things like that. I do the same thing with my egg salad and my ham salads and things like that. I like it to be kind of texture and, and, and whatnot. So this makes it super good. This is actually very similar, minus the bacon and the jalapeno and the ranch seasoning to my tuna salad. Um, if you're interested in seeing the tuna salad recipe on a future video, let me know. Um, while I'm mixing this though, as a quick reminder, we always like you to subscribe to our videos and, and like our YouTube and Facebook pages so that we can kind of keep making more content for you. But get this all mixed together like that, put it in a dish. I like to let it sit overnight before I serve it, but you are welcome to dig into it right away. Um, but we use it in mats, sandwiches and wraps and things like that every week. This is our bacon ranch chicken salad. Have a great day and this is why we're fat.